Good morning, my friends. We're going to start off our day. We're going to have a, a cup of coffee. This is just the Starbucks Cinnamon Dolce. This one is so good. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in our Instapot. Um, if you guys wanted to ever get one of these, you could also use the Nespresso pods, but um, I ran out and I haven't repurchased. So yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, people ask all the time, I love this. This is my favorite flavor. This is the perfect keto cinnamon toast, the keto collagen. Even though I'm not keto, I still use collagen. And yes, I definitely feel like my hair has grown. It's a lot healthier. My nails, my skin, I definitely feel like I can tell a difference. Um, I only use about a little bit over a half a scoop, not too much. Um, just because I, I don't feel like I need the whole scoop. So um, I only use about a little bit over a half scoop. So they also last me a little bit longer that way as well. So I'm going to toss some of this in there. If you guys are looking, cinnamon toast is the best. Don't get anything else. Cinnamon toast, that's where it is. And I'm going to toss a little bit of monk fruit stevia, monk fruit sweetener. I ran out of my sugar packet, so I'm going to use that. And I got some half and half. So yeah, we're going to get this uh, coffee pot going. And, oh, I gotta put my powder in. Hold on. Don't don't go yet. But yeah, so I'm gonna get my coffee. Look at that. My, look at the sun shining. Mindset is everything. And what do we say? Today's a good day to have a good day. We're gonna do the best. We're gonna make the best out of today. We're gonna do something great. That's gonna make our, we're gonna do something today that's gonna make our tomorrow better. It's gonna be a good day to have a good day. You know, just remember, repeat it. You know what I mean? All right, let's do this. So when I have my coffee in the morning, I sit down and I open my email and I always look at Redfin because they send me like uh, property listings. I'm not moving, but I like to. And then I'm like, oh, I like to. my favorite is to look at these houses that I know that I'm not going to be able to afford. This one's only, only 700000 Lee. Then what else do they have? Oh, well, that one's two seventy nine. That's not too bad. Oh, look at this one. This one's 530 You know just kind of look and see what I can um, not have. But what I like to do, this is kind of where I get my ideas. So I look at these big houses, right? These big fancy houses. And then I look at their pictures of what they've done. And see, I like the front porch here. But then I get my ideas. See, look at the black steps with the wood. That looks really, really sharp. Hmm. That's the, see, see it's black steps, but like the wood. So I'm like, man, that would look sharp for our basement. And then I love the like leather accents that they're doing on these chairs. And I'm like, man, this is a really good idea. So that's kind of where I steal a lot of my ideas from. Now I'm thinking that when I do, when I break down this wall, I can do like a little island and maybe do it a different color so it looks custom. I don't know. Oh, look at these lightings. See, like, it's always nice to see how the other people live. Those bar stools do not look comfortable because they're like wood. But aren't these so pretty? So this is what I do. What do they have here? Oh, a little butler's pantry. Ooh, that's a big old pantry. Look at this though. I'm really digging the like brown leather. Maybe we'll do some brown leather in the basement. I think that would look sharp. Kind of give it like a cognac, like a cigar room feel. Kind of masculine it up a little bit look at how nice that looks am i the only one who does this oh see look at this i see i like the mirror idea that's probably what we're going to do and look they have the black hardware on their stuff look at all this look at all this oh man they got their laundry set up upstairs this is cool, this is cool. <sighs> lee you got like seven hundred and thousand dollars you want to buy this house or no oh no no you're good okay well i'm just going to keep dreaming all right, my friends, we're going to make some breakfast, and today we're going to do oatmeal. And I know people are going to be like, oh my god, but I don't do oatmeal every day, but I still enjoy it, even though, like I told you, I'm following a low-carb life. So my carbs might be a little bit on the higher side today, but I'm not worried. So we are going to do, I don't like these. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm just finishing them. That's probably why I don't eat it that often, it's just because I don't really like these. But these are the Trader Joe's Oven Toasted Old Fashioned Organic Oats. I prefer the Quaker Oats, the gluten-free ones. Those ones are better, but I have to finish this. So we're going to go ahead and do like a half a cup of these. We're going to cook this in a saucepan. I'm going to add one tablespoon of powdered peanut butter, a dash of vanilla, and I'm going to cut up an apple and throw that in there and top it with a banana. So we're going to get lots of 
uh, vitamins in this as well. It is going to be carb heavy, but lots of vitamins. And that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to throw these in a saucepan and cook it up. This is real, real easy. But again, if I didn't, I would have done it in the microwave. But these ones, as soon as you throw them in the microwave, like they explode all over. And I hate cleaning that up. So um, we're going to do some oats this morning. So let's do this. All right, so I ended up doing half of banana and half of an apple because I shared the other half with um, Rebecca. So that's gonna go in there. And this is about a half a cup of oats with 16 grams of that powdered peanut butter. So I'm gonna get that all together. So you could still, like I try to shear my veggies or my fruits just so I don't, I still get the pleasure of them, but I don't go overboard because I love fruit. That's like my guilty pleasure. So especially like apples, bananas, um, anything watermelon cantaloupe I, you name it i love it it's my favorite so um i try to just get a little bit so i can get satisfied but i don't go overboard because i'll eat a whole damn fruit bowl if i could so what i do for my oatmeal is i will take half of the apple i chopped up and dump it in here as well so it can get nice and soft and then i add like a little like maybe a teaspoon of vanilla extract and then with the peanut butter so this will thicken it just kind of let it do its job and yeah, you could also, um, instead of using, I just use water to make it, but you can use like almond milk or I've seen people even make them with their protein shakes and do like a protein um, oatmeal, like a pro oats or whatever. Um, I don't, I don't really do that. So I just kind of do it the old fashioned way, the old fashioned way that Mindy made it, but she never really made it on the stove. She always got me the microwavable packets, but I love oatmeal. It's like a thing, but the only thing I hate about oatmeal, the reason why I kind of bulk it up is because I feel like it'll fill me up, but then because it's so high in fiber, like your body like digests it so quick that I'm like a bottomless pit like three hours later and then I gotta eat again. So um, yeah, but we're gonna let this cook and we might even top it with a little Chalk Zero chocolate chips. I seen um, Felicia Her Herdery, the, the Weight Watchers girl. Um, she does, she's been doing hers with like a little chunk of lilies, but we don't do lilies in this house. We do Chalk Zero, so we'll probably add that as it as well. All right, so our oatmeal is done, and then what I do is I kind of just sprinkle a little the rest of that apple over here so it still has that crunch. We'll toss that, and then we're going to add some of our banana over here. Leo's putting together something for the basement. I don't know what it is. So then we have that, and then we have about 7 grams of the Chalk Zero chocolate chips. You could add in, if you had syrups, you can do that as well. I mean, you could really dress up oatmeal any way you like it. And here, my friends, is what our oatmeal looks like. That looks so good. So this is what's for breakfast. Um, it's 12.37 and I'm hungry. Look, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I am gonna toss these out, these old fashioned organic oats. I kind of pushed myself to have them even though I wasn't the biggest fan, but they just bloat my stomach up so bad. I will not be redoing these again. They're garbage, they're going for sure. That was a waste, I've been uncomfortable like ever since like maybe an hour after I ate them. So. Um, I don't recommend them and you guys know I have like my trader sorry if I'm messy with my hair because there's gonna be somebody's like stop touching your hair um, You guys know I'm really honest about like the things I buy from the stores and like if I recommend them But I do not recommend those at all like I still have a little bit of these ones Yeah, these are the ones and there's there's not even enough to like Make anything with I don't know why I still have this in here um, but these are the best. If you're gonna do like an oatmeal, I recommend these ones. And these are just, and they're quick oats too. So I recommend those. I don't know what we're gonna have. Oh, I have ground turkey. Let's do a salad. We're gonna do, I have the spicy turkey sausage, like spicy Italian turkey sausage. So I'm thinking about doing something with those. I was thinking about doing a red sauce and I was like, nah, I don't really wanna do a red sauce. So I'm thinking about baking them and doing peppers like sausage and peppers so that's what we're gonna do but yeah we're gonna have a salad i have a taste for a salad so let's do that let's do a nice like big old chunk of salad all right here we go let's get our stuff all right so right here i have like three cups of this organic spring mix salad i'm almost done with it pretty proud of myself i've been doing a lot of salads lately my mom 
my mom ordered me like feta cheese because she did a grocery delivery and look at how much she said i'm like cheese i'm gonna have to freeze some of this or something or give some of it away because this is just too much um, i'm gonna throw some pepperoncinis on there simple a couple of these greek kamala uh, kalamata olives and i'm gonna do four ounces this is just um the butterball 85 percent turkey whatever and i just seasoned it with um sesson so i'm gonna heat up four ounces of this and toss it on my salad <laughs> what toss it on my salad um anyway <laughs> I'm five and uh yeah so I'll be back let me situate all this and I'll show you all right so here is look at the salad okay so I'm gonna show you this is this is how crazy it is so I have those two cups of the lettuce I have a couple servings of pepperoncinis I have 37 grams of feta four ounces of ground turkey I have some kalamata olives in there all of that and then I topped it with this craft raspberry vinaigrette light one um 30 calories and then it's like five carbs five sugar i mean it, i didn't want to do a creamy dressing i'm gonna be honest with you the creamy dressings are very very um calorically heavy and i don't need all that fat either because not only am i staying trying to stay like you know moderate low carbs but i am really trying to stay on the lower fat side as well right and then we got all these like veggies and stuff so it's really really good and i mean this plate is huge like look this is a big old lunch and I'll show you at the end, we'll do a macro breakdown, but it's beautiful and it's so colorful. So I'm gonna sit down and eat this and then I'll be back. All right, so we're gonna start on dinner and this is what we're gonna do. I'm kind of winging this recipe. I, I'm kind of combining a couple things that I saw, so we're hoping that it's gonna come out okay. So we're gonna do kind of a sausage and peppers type deal, but we're gonna do it over pasta, all right? And what we're gonna use are these healthy noodles. These are the Costco healthy noodles. So first things first, this is the Jenny O Hot Italian Turkey Sausage, okay? Bear with me. Leo's already... <laughs> it's going to be all right. It's going to be good. Here are the macros. For one link, it's 150 calories, uh, 10 fat, 0 carbs, 18 protein, okay? So we're going to do that. And the first, things we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this into our frying pan and we're going to heat up some extra virgin olive oil, Okay. And we're just going to drizzle our pan with some olive oil and get because we're going to fry them first just to give them a nice coat okay you know how you like for your sausage to be nice and crispy so first things first we're going to heat this bad boy up and we're going to put them on you can cut them up first but i prefer to cut my or fry mine whole and then cut them what we are going to do is we're going to do a like tomato sauce. So I got some of these Hunt's fire roasted diced garlic tomatoes. So we're going to use that. We're just going to dump the whole can in there. I'm probably only going to use one can. I bought two just in case. But for our peppers, I got some chips for the kids. They were on sale this morning. Um, we're going to use these sweet mini peppers, okay? I'm going to clean them up and we're going to dice these up because the whole peppers, like the green peppers, orange peppers, they were really expensive. And this was just a cheaper option. So I picked those up. And then we're also going to do an onion, and we're going to get a couple cloves of garlic. So that's what we're going to do. I'm really excited for this dinner. Um, depending on how chunky it is, I might add a couple more whole tomatoes just to add to it. But we're going to season it up and get it going. So this is going to be, it's an experiment, so I'm hoping it doesn't suck. So first things first is let's fry these bad boys up. There we go. All right, so get the oil nice and hot, and you're just going to cook these up. Just brown them. So a few minutes on each side just to give them a nice, crispy coating, okay? And then while these are kind of frying up, I'm going to go through and start dicing up all of our produce. All right, so here are the sausages. Just took them off of, oops, off of the pan. I'm just gonna add a little bit more olive oil to our pan because now is when we are gonna start cooking up our veggies. So I have a whole onion right here and quite a few of those little mini peppers. I just cut them down and then cut them into slices and we're gonna fry those up and then we'll season it with just some salt, pepper, and garlic. So let's add these to our pan. Okay, so adding these to the pan and then, I don't know, this onion isn't breaking up. Let me break up this onion because I will have a family full of angry people with all that big old chunk of onion. So I'm just gonna break those up and cook these down. Salt and pepper them really nicely. 
and I'll probably add a little bit of garlic as well. I was going to add the fresh garlic, but I'm just going to add the granulated garlic. So I'll get them nice and covered in that oil. Might add a little bit more olive oil too. You don't want the peppers to have a crunch. You want them to be kind of soft, okay? So let's cook these down and then salt and pepper these bad boys. All right, so these are looking very, very nice. These onions are really strong. So I'm just gonna let these cook down until the onions get, you know, um, like nice and thin and like see-through. And then I will we'll go to the next step. But we're just gonna let these cook down. This is gonna take just a little bit. Okay, so here is our sausage and peppers. And then I just dropped, I cut the peppers in, but I made sure I cut them all into five pieces. So I know that I will always get the five pieces equals one link. So that's just kind of like a trick I do, but you know, it's not brain science or anything like brain surgery or anything like that. So um, we're gonna cook these down just a little bit longer. Um, and then we're gonna start seasoning and kind of go through there and see how it tastes. But I just wanna make sure that the sausages are actually sitting on the pan and not on a bed of veggies. So we're gonna let those keep going. They're looking pretty good. All right, so we're gonna add some oregano. This is garlic, parsley, salt and pepper. And then we'll season the veggies and the sausages up and then we'll add in the uh, fire roasted diced garlic um, tomatoes. But so far it's looking pretty good. Okay, so I seasoned up the sausages and the peppers, and now I'm going to add in that whole can of tomato um, puree kind of thing, and kind of just see how that goes. I I'm probably going to add in both cans because I don't feel like this is going to be enough. And I want to make this enough, you know, this is going to be for the whole family, so I want to make sure it goes a little bit longer. You could always make this like a creamier sauce too and add like a hyper or a heavy whipping cream too. So always keep that in mind. But yeah, I definitely think I'm going to add in that other can of tomatoes. All right, my friends, here is, this is Leo's plate. And that look good. So I'm going to have to kind of put everything into my um, fitness pal and kind of break up the, calor the calories and stuff like that. But from what I'm guessing um, on the top of my head, I'm thinking this should probably be around like 300 calories and um, maybe uh, like eight carbs. So this is what it's looking like, but it's a nice huge portion. Look at that. And I'm going to top this now. One more thing. I have a fresh brick of Parmesan cheese, so we're gonna actually grind that up and top that over there. So let me do that and I'll show you the plate. All right, and here it is with that fresh Parmesan. So this, my friends, is dinner. So we're gonna try it out and I will let you know, but it looks really good. And it's really simple, especially if you have like a garden and can can your own tomatoes, that would be like preference, but I don't have one of those. But if you did, this is where your time to shine would come in, my friends. All right, so we're getting ready to take our supplements. I take mine at the end of the day, so I make sure I have a nice full meal. Um, we're going to take some, this is the Equips. If you guys ever want to try any Equip stuff, I have a link down below. But we're almost done with this. We're going to have to order another one. Um, we actually just ran out. Let's see, there's only like quite a few left in there. So i got to make an order for those. Um, we, Leo finished the apple cider vinegar ones, so those are all gone. These are bomb, guys. Definitely recommend those. And then um, I, we just finished the immune support, but I had an extra one on hand, so we'll take those. And then I take a joint support because I'm getting old. So these are my supplements. Again, I recommend all their stuff. I will leave a link down below, you know, if you want to check them out. But uh, my dad likes her protein powder. If you really wanted to check that out, that's uh, my dad's favorite. I think he said the vanilla is really good. I think it was the vanilla. But anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to take these. All right, my friends, let's go through this uh, macro breakdown. So 1270 calories, I use 1100. I'm not actually hungry anymore. That meal was really, really heavy. So um, 160, or, okay, let's go back in here. Hold on, hold on. So let's see, breakfast was 359 calories. Lunch was 392, which is good. And dinner was 350. So, calories good. Let's see what our protein's looking like. We had um, 70 grams of protein, 
you guys can see this, hold on. There you go, 70 grams of protein, 113 total carbs with 32 grams of fiber. So net carbs are looking good, sugar 43, fat 43. So this is pretty good, I'm excited for these. These are good macros. So um, yeah, breaking them down. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead, I still gotta clean up this kitchen now, so I'm gonna do that. Ray is recording for her um, speech tournament, so she has to do that, so we gotta be quiet. And I'm just gonna clean up and I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna watch some TV. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this full day of eating, kind of seeing maybe some ideas for maybe what you can eat on your day. And yeah, so I'll leave this video a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, friends.